Shell Shock came to national attention in 1992. There was a new sound on the radio. Local artists like General Grant and Sister Run had bona fide hits in a radio market flooded with American hip hop and Jamaican dance rock. Then the Kiskiri Caravan took Trinidad and Tobago by storm. I actually wanted to be a DJ first. And that led to certain things that led to drum machines and keyboards and the rest, I guess, after that was history. I didn't really know I had that in me, but it showed up and that was it. So they discovered me well, through Still and Gittins. So I went to Caribbean Sound Basin to help get Torians on their album. And I was actually trying to leave Trinidad to go where to live. I was, I, had a, I was just about to go pick up a ticket from Davey Rent Amp, well, ticket money, to get a ticket to go to New York and just start a whole new life. Got a call from um, Kerwell, AK-47, from um, Get Torians. Went there, started helping them with the album, and then John Afoon and Ricky and them paid attention to what I was doing, and they said, all right, we got to keep this guy. We need to offer, which wasn't really not crappy money or whatever. I just wanted the opportunity because it was a big ass studio. Then, while I was there working on tracks, working on tracks, John said, Hey, General Grant here, I said, I don't want to work with he. So, man, he's just rapping them bizarre and block one thing. I don't want to part of that, man. He said, Nah, listen to the man. I said, Alright, cool. He come, sing. I said, Your song, I like your head and stuff right now, so we could work. So I actually made the shot call track for um, because he was first. Everybody else was really after, literally. Even though I worked at Gatorians first, really and truly, but he was really the first one that I had my own way with. That. Made the shot call track for my group, and he heard it and he freaked out and he said, "I want that track." I said, "I can't get it." He said, "I want that track." I said, "I tell him, yeah, that's for my group. You can't get this. This is an expensive track." He's like, "Shock!" I tell him, "I need that track." So I watched my friend who was in the group too, he said, she gave me to him. Give me to see what he can come up with. I said, right, look, history. So and then was Sister Run after that. Well, Sister Run came out of Lyman with Get They wrote the track with her and thing. Kindred, again, Lyman with Get They came through and they did their thing. And with Get we already had a working relationship. So it wasn't very hard to really come up with a track for them on the next level. So that first four was really turned out to be good knowing what time it is. Yeah. Yes, Shock was even part of a band. The members of Black Meal remember. Um, yeah, Shock, a lot of it. Shock started Black Meal. Yeah. Period is a matter of record. Yeah. Right? Shock was the innovator, the style. Yeah. The first album we did, Shock produced everything. We produced Shock everything. Cool, all the music was Shock, all the, all the lyrics was either me or us or some kind of combination thereof. So it, Shock was a, a real. Shock basically said, okay, this is Black Meal, this is what we're going to sound like. This is what we're gonna look like, this is what we're gonna represent, and then at some point he decided, well, okay, well, let's go ahead and do all the artist thing and I'll stay right. back and produce. Shock, I mean, Shock took everybody from being in ETC. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> we did a little mixed deal, we did a little mixed mix thing, to yeah. being in the studio here now, everybody starve out, and we mm -hmm. had anything to eat, to, to get a record deal. Yeah. I mean, blackmail is a testament yeah, to shock. Shock, shock is blackmail as well. Bottom line, is as well, yeah, he was a founding member. Well, that's yeah, it. Right. Shock was not just a founding member. Shock was daddy. It was his yeah. concept. It was his. Shock was nothing that happened. Shock didn't okay. Shock was yeah. That's call basically it. Shock call it organized. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> shock call it shots from down here. Literally from down. Yeah. Down here. Six five. Well, six four. So close to five is already six five. Yeah. Which, well, he kind of told. Because he kind of told. <laughs> so. Well, definitely it wasn't so good to me, right? and it still isn't, and it w I don't think it will ever be so good. I mean, I think I'm making, or have made probably five real to me soca tracks in my life. You know, I don't really do soca, <laughs> you know, per se, but I guess when you look back and you listen to it, the, the influence of Trinidad Tobago is so heavy in it, that you can't deny it, but I really love every other type of music, for real. And... I'm a kind of person that I'm very current. I'm always up to date with you know trends in music, you know what's happening, you know what is it, and sometimes even the B sides of stuff, things that don't even be released. I'm into that too. So, but the soca thing, I mean, the last music in the world I actually wanted to do was soca. To tell you the truth, yeah. Yeah, sure. We had Chuck. We had um. There was this collective of of Trinidad hip hop artists, right? Um. Some of who included Third Bass, 
Justice, Getorians, Getorians, Getorians. Um, a couple other groups, F1, and you the, know. The name of this this collab weapon was a frequency. Yeah, and we were trying to <laughs> we were trying to to capture you know the the hip hop community of Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah, and and Chuck was like the DJ. He used to he used to be working at a record shop, so we used to all go there. I was working at them. ETC then I believe yeah or some yeah some, and some, some right, right. he was the guy that sent us to to do our first two demos with one one was um Shango drum I think and the other one was this training cut flow we were at one point in time we were the official shock translators um you, people people would be shock, scared shock had a group and we would work better with shock than his group, his own group. Yeah, we, we somehow we we, <laughs> we 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 understood Shock, and I think we gave him the room that he needed, because mm-hmm. a lot of artists sometimes they don't do that, and and it and people started to look on and see their relationship so much that men used to say, eh, "Have a session with Shock, come and sit down." Yeah, you know? sometimes we would reach. Uh, yeah, to play go between. Sometimes we would reach a coagulated period with Shock, and you know we just bring in something to just offset that because he, he he tends to work well with female companions <laughs> <laughs> so we would bring them in you know and, 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 and we would get we would get that's when we would create and, some of the best music yeah. and you had you had you had to understand him too because i mean i've seen shock make big artists in this town yeah. cry get frustrated yeah, if you don't understand yeah. brother, but he is He's wow. so creative that that he, people are always saying people boy shock boy shock, and it's just a matter of understanding that I mean that genius because shock isn't formally exactly trained in anything. Is, he, mm-hmm. he is, yeah, he is you know, and it's when that when you started hearing music coming out of this man, yeah, like, and I think we collaborated really really well with him. Um, I think shock first foray into carnival was with Kindred, yeah, no, yeah. you know, and. It, I mean, it's something that, like, I mean, we always cool with Chuck. Sometimes Chuck, I mean, Chuck will be programming, and then he say, you see this, just like that, and gone. And he, he jump, in car, in jump in his car, jump in the car, he and go he down could, yeah, he buy he could, a, a cola and take and come back. And yeah, he could be gone for an hour, two hours. No, but but it, you see, for his creativity to flow the way it does, you know, he he is totally happy with even his vehicle. Yeah, you know, and he he is that type of guy, and. and it, it shows in all that he does and i think he, the, he is always real he's always real in what he does and the quintessential quote that could really sum up shock is shut up you're being produced yeah you know <laughs> lack of um <clears throat> it sends from a lot of things is on the artist part they're insecure unsure but they want to be part of something hip and when you're unprepared as an artist you can't really deliver anything so to mask all that they bring the attitude as if they know and that's what they want and i like if you could fill a place by yourself of three thousand people then you could tell me what you want in a production if you can't do that you're making no sense because you're talking to somebody who is more than 10 years experience and not experience like i'm 10 years doing ads it's ten years, more than 10 years doing songs that you still relate into and the rest of Trinidad and Tobago and probably will still relate into so I could come with that that cocky attitude and that you know but I do I mean it's not really about that to me but it seems like that to them because you know look you have a big name so you could I say yeah, well, you can't come to me saying that I have a big name you should just come to me with what you have whatever your limitation is use that to all you know so come and tell me well I really want to hear this kind of snare in my song. You need to find another producer. You can't tell me anything. I'm going to make you sound good, make you look good. And then there's the Russian thing also that that gets me crazy upset. As they finish record, what about the song? Don't call me. Or else this song is not going to finish. Straight up. Every time you call, that's a week. Shock is very direct. He's the type of person that he will tell you as it is, you know. It's up to you if you get offended. <laughs> you don't really care. <laughs> you know, that, that's just shock. I mean, you have to know. You have to know how to deal with him, you know. And you learn very quickly. Um, but I personally never had any problems with him. Um, the times that we've been in, I've been in the studio with him, um, I'm the same kind of way. When it's time to work, it's time to work. And that's what we're doing. 
I'm in front of the microphone, he's in front of his computer and everything, and it's like, okay, we're doing this, we're doing this, sorry for him, no problem. Everything level's good, let me roll, you know? And that's how I am in the studio, and I'm very much a perfectionist. And I will listen back to my lead tracks and make sure that everything is right, go over what may need to be going over, do another lead track if I have to, you know, make sure the background vocals, all that has to be correct before I leave the studio. And Shock is the same way. He's very particular about his music. He's very particular about the way that it's put together. And you cannot rush him. You cannot, boy, Shock, boy, what about the tune or anything? Mm -hmm. I hear nothing. Yeah, boy, that's another week that you go away. <laughs> because, you know, you can't, you know, when he's working, he's working on it. He's, he's doing, but, you know, he has to make sure that everything is, is correct. It has to be right. Otherwise, he ain't letting it out. He's not, he's not letting it out for other people to hear until it's absolutely correct. The truth is, uh, I think, one of the best lessons in the last three years of what Soka is, Alison Hines wrote it. I'm not saying that because I did it. I'm saying that because only real smart people in music understood exactly what that did and what it is. Soka is like what dancehall is, is like what hip hop is. How come a Jamaican artist could sing on any type of music and they song like Jamaica? It's an attitude. This is what Alison Hines did. That track I made is not really Soka to me. In fact, that's a hip hop track to me, as far as I know. But her attitude on it was a Soka attitude. And that's what makes it soca. It's like what makes dance all dance all, what makes reggae reggae, what makes hip hop hip hop, what makes dance music dance music. So if an R&B singer is singing on a soca track, an R&B singer singing on a real soca, what you call a soca beat, she gonna sound like R&B. No matter what you do, that's the only way they could sing. You know what I'm saying? So I, I hope people really realize that it's really an attitude. Soca is an attitude. It's like once they put us in the music, no matter what the bed is, it's going to be so good. First time I heard the song, that was it. The first, I don't think there's any other song that's, that's, that I've like listened to the first time. And just, it just kept, caught me from that from that point on. I was like, yeah, I'm ready to record this song now. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, let's just go. I, it was just so perfect. The lyrics of it, uh, the strength of the lyrics. The melody is wonderful. Of course, Shock's music was great, you know, great foundation for the song. Um, and of course, Shock's music was what influenced the melody and so on of the song. And I was just, I was really, really, and still am really, really happy with the song. Well, the thing about it is my band is filled with producers because Ricky is producing and Ricky has done a lot of my productions in the years gone by. Shock, because he just joined, we haven't worked yet, but we are already planning to work on a whole lot of stuff. Um, Neil Bernard, who's on drums, he's also a producer. And then we have Marlon Roach on keyboard horns, who's also producing. The sound engineer of the band, Brian Morris, who's also my manager, is also producing. So the band is just filled with production people. And most of them worked on my stuff, except for the newer members, which is Neil and, and Shock. But maybe next year, we'll have a change in, in that. I mean, Shock is the most, I mean, he, he unique. <laughs> He's unique. Yeah, you know? yeah, that, that's the way to describe it. Sure. I, and you had to go with it. Just to me, just just a guy. But you know, love to do what he do and find you know joy in expressing himself whenever, wherever, whatever we feels like. And you know what? This is how we do it. Roll, roll it, gal, roll it, gal, roll. Control it, girl. Roll it, girl.